shoot and kill a man who's suspected of killing a woman and her 18 year old daughter. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 5. I'm Tom Haynes and I'm Dieter Dukes and for Courtney Bryant tonight. Uh, this crime has rocked the whole county community. Police went to serve a search warrant at the home on Long Creek Drive and were met with a man armed with a knife. Let's get out to Fox 5's Brittany Edney who joins us now live from Hall County with the night's new developments. Brittany. Tom and Deidre, off camera, a man told us that it was his ex-wife and his daughter who were murdered at this home. He said he hadn't heard from his daughter for a few days. She wasn't answering his text, so he came out here and a man opened the door covered in blood. He identified that man as his ex's new boyfriend. A Hall County home is now the location of the murders of a mother and daughter and also where deputies shot and killed the armed suspect. It's just shocking. GBI confirms a relative saw suspect 51 year old Tong Duk Duan at the home with blood on his clothes. And at 11 p.m. Tuesday, Hall County Sheriff deputies went to the home with a warrant and found Duan, adding he refused to drop the knife he was holding, made aggressive movements, and that's when deputies shot and killed him. In this quiet neighborhood, you just never know what to expect what would happen. Investigators say they searched the home and found the bodies of 42-year-old Kim Nguyen and her daughter, 18-year-old Lam An Tran. Neighbors say this is an unimaginable loss. They blocked off the streets and uh, I ended up hearing some gunshots go off um, late hours, uh, probably 11 maybe ish. So um, and then we went back to the house. So it was tough to watch. And a family friend told us it's really hard to comprehend that both a mother and daughter were murdered like this. We were even told that the daughter, you know, was about to have a big milestone in her life. She was about to start college at Georgia Tech. Reporting live in Hall County, I'm Brittany Yedney, Fox 5 News. Brittany, thanks for